Hello and welcome to the tutorial on negative numbers. In this tutorial we will learn how to compare negative numbers up to minus 1000. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a number line which is going to help us to work out which numbers are larger and which numbers are smaller. We're going to put 0 in the middle and our number line goes from minus 1000 to 1000. It's plus 1000 but as you know we don't always write that down. Okay, so our first set of numbers are we've got I'm just going to write them down first there we go. On the left hand side we've got negative 648 and on the right hand side we've got the number 3. Which number is larger? Which number is smaller? Let's just go back to the number line and I want you to understand just one simple principle. The number here 1000 is greater than 0. 1000 is more than 0. Correct? Yes. And 0 is greater than minus 1000. Okay, the largest number is here. On this number line, the largest number is 1000. I'll just write that down. The smallest number on this number line is here. It's not 0, it's minus 1000. So now let's have a look at our question. Minus 648. Now where do you think that is on the number line? That would be roughly somewhere about here. Minus 648. Now we're going to have a look at the next number which is 3. Where do you think 3 is on the number line? Well it's going to be about here isn't it? 3. So which number is larger? And which number is smaller? The smaller one is negative 648. So the arrow is pointing to the smaller number. Once you understand the principle of the number line and where the smallest number is and where the largest number is, the rest of these will become very simple. Okay, now let's have a look at our next one. I'm going to write down two sets of numbers. Okay, now both of these numbers are negative. We've got negative 348 and negative 356. So which number is smaller? Which number is larger? Have a look at the number line. We're going to have minus 348 here. I'll write this on top. Minus 356 here. The smaller number is is minus 356. That is the smaller number. Effectively, when you're comparing numbers and you've got a minus for both of them, the larger the number it is on its own, the smaller it is when you include the minus. That sounds a little bit confusing, but have a look at the number line and see how we work this out. Okay, let's work through one more. This time we've got two almost identical numbers. We've got minus 872, or you can say negative 872, and we've got minus 871. So which is the smaller number? Have a look at the number line. Which is the smaller number? You should know this, the smaller number is the one which is the larger number without the minus. Sorry, with the minus. So the smaller number is this one. We've got 872, 871. But because they're minus, the number on the left, 872, is smaller. So that is how we compare numbers, negative numbers, up to minus 1000. If you're doing a question like this, 
it may be worthwhile just drawing that number line from minus 1000 through 0 to plus 1000, write down smallest on the left, largest on the right, and then work through the question.